California DMV Motorcycle Practice Test. Question 1. What can cause your engine to lock? A. Skidding the front tire. B. Being low on oil. C. Braking using only one brake. D. Not changing gears properly. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. If an engine locks, it is likely low on oil. Always check your oil before beginning a journey. Question 2. If you are carrying a package that prevents you from steering with both hands. A. Ride under 30 mph. B. Do not ride a motorcycle. C. Ride only in first gear. D. Ride only in residential areas. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. If you are carrying a package that prevents you from steering with both hands, do not ride a motorcycle. Both hands are required for riding. Question 3. Fill in the bank. Can increase your visibility. A. Pulling in the clutch. B. Riding with the passenger. C. Riding in the left lane position. D. Changing your lane position according to traffic situations. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Position yourself in the portion of the lane where you are most likely to be seen and where you can maintain a space cushion around you. Change position as traffic situations change. Question 4. To help other vehicles notice that you are slowing down. A. Use your signal lights. B. Flash your brake light. C. Swerve from side to side. D. Beep your horn. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. To help other vehicles notice that you are slowing down, flash your brake light, especially when slowing quickly or in unusual areas. Question 5. You are being followed closely, and as you approach an intersection, the light turns yellow. What should you do? A. Tap your brake to flash your brake light. B. Accelerate to make it through the light. C. Beep your horn to warn the driver. D. Move into another lane. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. In any situation in which the driver behind you might not notice that you are slowing down, you should flash your brake light to warn the person. Question 6. Fill in the bank. Can cause your motorcycle to wobble. A. Improper loading of cargo. B. Riding a motorcycle that is too big. C. Improper braking technique. D. Carrying a passenger. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. Improper loading of cargo can cause your motorcycle to wobble. Make sure you load cargo evenly to keep the motorcycle balanced. Question 7. When you are riding at night, it is best to a. Ride slower than you do during the day. B. Wear a tinted face shield. C. Not use your headlight. D. Stay close behind the car in front of you. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. When riding at night, 
it is best to ride slower than you do during the day so you can see hazards in advance and react quickly to the unexpected. Question 8. To have a passenger on your motorcycle, you must have A. A. Windshield B. Foot rests for the passenger C. High quality shocks D. Side saddlebags 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. To have a passenger on your motorcycle, you must have a set of footrests for the person. The seat must also be big enough for two people. Question 9. When should you rise off the seat slightly? A. When trying to increase your visibility. B. When riding on slippery surfaces. C. When preparing to pass another vehicle. D. To absorb shocks when riding over obstacles. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Rising off the seat slightly can help you absorb shocks with your knees and elbows. Do this when riding over obstacles. Question 10. Use your horn when A. You are making a left turn B. You pull the kill engine switch C. You are crossing railroad tracks D. You think someone may enter your lane without seeing you 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Use your horn when you think someone may enter your lane without seeing you. When you are stopped at a stop sign, your bike should remain in A. Third gear B. First gear C. Second gear D. Neutral 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. When you are stopped at a stop sign, your bike should remain in first gear so that you can start off easily again. Question 12. When preparing to pass a vehicle ahead of you, you should ride in, fill in the bank, lane position. A. Any. B. The center. C. The left. D. The right. 5. 4. 3 2 1 Answer C. When preparing to pass a vehicle ahead of you, you should ride in the left lane position. That lane position will make it easier for the driver you are overtaking to see you in his or her side mirror. Question 13. To prevent colliding with a hazard in the center of the lane, which lane position should you ride in? A. Center B. Left or right C. Right D. Left 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. To prevent colliding with a hazard in the center of the lane, you should ride in the left or right lane position. Question 14. While you are riding on a winding road, your lane position should A. Change constantly to give you the best view B. Remain the left position C. Remain the right position D. Remain the center position 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. While you are riding on a winding road, you should constantly change lane positions to always give you the best view of what is coming up ahead. Question 15. If you can't cross an obstacle head-on, you should approach it at as close to a fill-in-the-bank degree angle as possible. A20 B105 C45 D90 
five, four, three, two, one. Answer D. If you can't cross an obstacle head on, approach it at as close to a 90 degree angle as possible. Question 16. Pulling over to the side of the road can be more dangerous to motorcycles than to cars because A. It is illegal for motorcycles to park on the side of the road. B. The shoulder is often sandy and may provide less traction. C. It is more difficult for motorcycles to stop quickly. D. Motorcycles require a curb to park against. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. Pulling over to the side of the road can be more hazardous to motorcycles than to cars because the shoulder is often full of sand or gravel, which provides poor traction to motorcycles. Question 17. If the rear wheel locks, you should A. Not release the brake. B. Increase the throttle. C. Grab the front brake. D. Release the brake. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. If the rear wheel locks, do not release it. Keep it locked until the motorcycle comes to a stop. Question 18. When can you be sure another driver will yield to you? A. When he or she is starting to slow down. B. When he or she makes eye contact with you. C. Never. D. When you are legally entitled to the right of way. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. You can never be sure a driver will yield to you, even if he or she makes eye contact with you or appears to be slowing down. Question 19. When carrying a passenger, instruct the person to A. Put his or her feet on the ground when the motorcycle is stopped. B. Wear a seat belt. C. Hold firmly onto your waist, hips, or belt. D. Grip the backrest. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Instruct the passenger to hold firmly onto your waist, hips, or belt. Keep both feet on the footrests, even when the motorcycle is stopped. Keep legs away from the muffler S, belts, chains, or moving parts. Sit as far forward as possible without crowding you. Stay directly behind you, leaning as you lean. And avoid unnecessary talk or motion. Question 20. When parked along the roadside, you should park. A. With your front tire on the curb. B. Parallel to the curb. C. On the curb. D. At an angle of 45 to 90 degrees to the curb. 5. 4. 3, 2, 1. Answer D. When parked at the roadside, your motorcycle should be parked at a 45 to 90 degree angle to the curb, with the wheel or fender touching the curb. Question 21. If you suspect the driver ahead of you does not know you are behind his or her vehicle, you should. A. Try to pass the vehicle as soon as possible. B. Increase your following distance to 5 seconds. C. Decrease your speed and ride in the left lane position. D. Move into the center lane position to increase your visibility. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. If you suspect that the driver ahead of you does not know you are behind his or her vehicle, you should ride in the center lane position. This position makes you most visible in the driver's rear view mirror, which is the mirror that drivers check most often. Question 22. 
As you approach the center of a turn, you should A. Decrease the throttle B. Move toward the inside of the curve C. Move toward the outside of the curve D. Apply the rear brake 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. As you approach the center of a turn, you should move toward the inside of the curve. After you have passed the center of the turn, you should move toward the outside. Question 23. You can maintain an adequate space cushion by A. Adjusting your lane position as you ride B. Speeding up when you are approached by tailgaters C. Always riding in the center lane position D. Beeping your horn at drivers who come close 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. You can maintain an adequate space cushion by adjusting your lane position as you ride to keep you farthest away from hazards. Question 24. If your front wheel locks, you should A. Continue applying the brake B. Release the rear brake only C. Use the rear brake only D. Release the front brake and reapply it smoothly 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. If your front wheel locks, you should release the front brake and reapply it smoothly to regain control. Question 25. Which brake is most powerful? A. The foot brake. B. The rear brake. C. The front brake. D. The front and rear brakes equally. 5. 4 3 2 1 Answer C. The front brake provides three quarters of your motorcycle stopping power. Question 26. You are turning right onto a two-way road. Turning too fast can cause you to A. Veer into the opposing lane B. Tip over your motorcycle C. Run off the right edge of the road D. Hit the vehicle in front of you 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Taking a turn too fast can cause you to veer into the opposing lane. Slow down before starting the turn. Question 27. When you see a car on an entrance ramp that is about to merge into your lane, you should A. Change lanes B. Flash your brake light C. Come to a complete stop D. Beep your horn 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. When you see a car on an entrance ramp that is about to merge into your lane, you should change lanes to give the car plenty of room to merge. Question 28. To help balance yourself in turns, you should A. Keep your knees against the gas tank B. Lean in the opposite direction of the motorcycle C. Take your feet off the footrests for balance D. Turn your torso in the direction of the turn 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. To help balance yourself in turns, you should keep your knees against the gas tank. Question 29. What is the most efficient way for you to know what is going on behind you? A. Stop and look around. B. Turn around and scan the area. C. Check your side mirrors frequently. D. Carry a passenger to check for you. 5 4 
three, two, one. Answer C. The most efficient way for you to know what is going on behind you is to check your side mirrors frequently. Question 30. It is important to check your mirrors when you are A. About to slow down B. Stopped at an intersection C. About to change lanes D. In any of the above situations 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. It is important to check your mirrors when you are stopped at an intersection, about to slow down, or about to change lanes. Question 31. In which of the following places are motorcycle collisions most frequent? A. Multilane highways B. Rural areas C. Intersections D. Acceleration lanes 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Answer C. Motorcycle collisions are most frequent at intersections. Often, a vehicle turning left does not see a motorcycle approaching. Question 32. It is dangerous to ride beside a line of parked cars because A. You may collide with a car B. Traction is poor beside parked cars C. It decreases visibility D. Someone may open his or her door into your path 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. It is dangerous to ride beside a line of parked cars because someone may not see you and open his or her door into your path. Question 33. When riding in a group, who is setting the pace of the group? A. The group leader. B. The tail rider. C. The middle group rider. D. The traffic in front of the leader. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. When riding in a group, the tail rider is setting the pace. If the person behind you slows down, you should also slow down to stay in the group. Question 34. Weaving when riding over a metal grating. A. Is caused by poor motorcycle skills. B is harmful to the motorcycle. C is dangerous to motorcycle riders. D is not hazardous. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Weaving caused by riding over a metal grating is not hazardous. Relax and stay on course. Question 35. When changing lanes on a multi-lane road, it is important to check the lane next to you and A. Your throttle B. The far lane C. In front of you D. Behind you 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. When changing lanes on a multi-lane road, it is important to check the far lane as well as the lane next to you. There may be vehicles trying to merge into the same lane that you are. Question 36. In any collision, you have a far better chance of avoiding serious injury when you wear A. Face or eye protection B. A. Motorcycle safety helmet that is U.S. Department of Transportation DOT compliant C. Protective clothing D. All of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. In any collision, you have a far better chance of avoiding serious injury when you wear a motorcycle safety helmet that is U.S. 
DOT compliant, face or eye protection, and protective clothing such as a leather or long sleeve jacket, long, heavy pants over ankle boots, and full fingered leather gloves. Question 37. You should increase your following distance. A. In heavy traffic. B. During the day. C. On single lane roads. D. When it is windy. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. You should increase your following distance in heavy traffic. Heavy traffic can lead to sudden and unexpected stops. Question 38. To increase your chances of being seen by other vehicles, you should A. Drive only during the day. B. Drive in areas where there are lots of motorcycles. C. Wear reflective clothing. D. Avoid driving in heavy traffic. 5. 4. 3, 2, 1. Answer C. To increase your chances of being seen by other vehicles, you should wear reflective clothing. Question 39. Choose the answer that applies best to carrying passengers. A. Passengers should keep their feet on their footrests at all times. B. Passengers should sit as far back as possible. C. Passengers should put their feet down at stops. D. Passengers should avoid holding on to the rider. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. Passengers should keep their feet on their footrests at all times even when the motorcycle is stopped at a light. Question 40. You must use your motorcycle's high beam headlight when you are, fill in the bank, a vehicle at night. A. Neither following nor meeting. B. Following. C. Meeting. D. Following or meeting. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. At night, you must use your motorcycle's high beam when you are neither following nor meeting a vehicle. Use your low beam when meeting a vehicle. Question 41. Which of the following is true about carrying cargo on your motorcycle? A. Never carry cargo on a motorcycle. B. Use ropes to secure the load. C. Attach the cargo to your gas tank. D. Fill saddlebags evenly to prevent drifting. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Fill your saddlebags so as to distribute the weight evenly. If one side is heavier than the other, it could cause the bike to drift. Question 42. The best way to lessen your chances of skidding on a slippery surface is to A. Ride on the shoulder of the road. B. Slow down before you get to the slippery surface. C. Drag your feet on the ground. D. Do all of the above. 5. 4. 3, 2, 1. Answer B. The best way to lessen your chances of skidding on a slippery surface is to slow down as much as possible before you reach it. Question 43. When is it safe for you to ride side by side with another motorcycle? A. If you are riding in a group. B. When you are riding with a new rider. C. Never. D. When traffic is heavy. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. 
Although motorcycles are smaller than cars, they require a full lane width for safe travel just as cars do. Hence, it is never safe to ride side by side with another motorcycle. Question 44. When should you take your feet off the footrests and skim them along the surface of the road? A. When riding on metal gratings. B. When riding in a parking lot. C. When riding on ice. D. When crossing railroad tracks. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. To maintain balance and safety when riding on ice, skim the surface of the road with your feet. If the motorcycle starts to fall, you can steady it with your feet. Question 45. To look where you want to turn, you should A. Reduce your speed before the turn B. Keep your eyes level with the horizon C. Turn your head, not your shoulders D. Do all of the above 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. To look where you want to turn, turn your head, not your shoulders. Moving your shoulders or upper body may turn the motorcycle more than you want to. Keep your eyes level with the horizon and reduce your speed before the turn. Question 46. When it is raining, the best position for traction is A. The left lane position B. The center lane position C. The shoulder of the road D. The tracks left by other drivers. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. While it is raining, ride in the tracks that have been left by other drivers. Question 47. You should flash your brake light when A. The speed limit changes. B. You slow down in rural areas. C. You are going to turn left. D. You slow down where others may not expect it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. You should flash your brake light when you slow down where others may not expect it. Question 48. You can increase your safety at night by A. Using your high beam B. Reducing your speed C. Increasing your following distance D. Doing all of the above 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Here are several ways for you to increase your safety at night. Reduce your speed, use your high beam headlight, and increase your following distance. Question 49. How can you keep yourself from using too much throttle? A. Keep the clutch pulled in. B. Start with your right wrist raised. C. Ride in lower gears. D. Start with your right wrist flat. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. You can keep yourself from using too much throttle by starting with your right wrist flat. Question 50. When riding in a group, motorcyclists should communicate by A. Changing lane positions. B. Making eye contact. C. Writing in pairs. D. Hand signals. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. When riding in a group, motorcyclists should communicate by hand signals. Make sure all group members are familiar with the hand signals before you start your journey. Thanks for watching. 
Please comment, like, and share.